Hey, what's up everybody? Um, so you probably have seen that the camera quality has been up, down, sideways. Um, it's been changing a lot lately. Uh, we recently just got a new camera and like mic and stuff. So that's what I'm shooting on right now. Uh, but we've had another change. So I just kind of wanted to go over what I use. Um, every day when we're vlogging um, and then what I bring to the track and stuff and what we started with. So let's get into it. So when me and Caro started out uh, doing this, we had uh, a Nikon camera that I had in the past but I've never actually really used it for anything. Uh, so that was the uh, this little guy. The uh, Nikon J1. Um, so it worked really well at the start. So, videoception. Um, and then we kind of bought a tripod to go with it um, just because we couldn't carry it around all the time. So we got this one off Amazon. Um, nothing too fancy, just small. Uh, the only problem is, is that it's super, super light. If it was super windy out, um, you'd be scared of it blowing around. Uh, and then actually, at one practice, when it was super windy, the uh, camera blew over and it broke the camera. So that's our fault. These pieces at the end here, if this will focus, um, these pieces at the end here actually snapped off. So then it didn't recognize that the uh, lens was actually attached. So in the meantime, we started using this camera. It's just my phone. Uh, so we use this camera on this made selfie stick. So, so that was the second camera we started to use. Um, and then after we finally fixed the Nikon J1, so when you fix the Nikon J1 with handy dandy super glue, um, it started to work again. Uh, and then at nationals, uh, it somehow fell again. Bruh. And then it broke the plastic piece again off. So instead of fiddling around with it, um, we did fix it, uh, but then we just decided to get a new camera as well, because um, we wanted a new one anyways. The reasons why we wanted a new camera was uh, this one's a little bit basic. Uh, you can't do too much with it. Um, it's just like it's entry level model. So, and then this doesn't actually have a headphone jack anywhere. Um, when we're outside, you can hear the wind pretty hardcore. So we didn't like that. Um, so when we could never talk outside, we're never really wanting to talk in front of people anyways. But if we wanted to in the future, we couldn't really do it because you can really hear because the mic's on top and the wind was really bad. We still kept this camera just in case uh, the camera that we have now, something happens to it and it needs to get fixed and we still have a camera. Um, and it works all right. Um, and I really like the autofocus on this one. It's a lot faster than the camera and lens that we have on right now, but pros and cons to everything. Now I'm gonna show you the camera that we bought. Um, I'll show you the box because I'm shooting on it right now. Uh, so we went with the Rebel T5i. Um, we went with this one because it was the cheapest without sacrificing too much quality. Um, so we got a good deal on it too. Um, so I'm happy with it. Uh, obviously we've been using it for a while so we don't actually have to unbox it um, and then with the camera we got a tripod which it's sitting on right now I'll show you all of this um, in a bit I'll show you with our old camera um, so we got a tripod and then we also got a microphone so that should help with cutting down wind and it should sound a little bit better. Um, and then we also got like a little tripod so we could rest it not on the ground. So I'll show you that right now. So this is the little tripod from 
Manifrotto. Yeah, you can put this just screwed onto the bottom and then it kind of works as a uh, selfie stick as well. So it can make some distance. I will show you the camera that we are using right now. So everything from now on is shot on the Nikon J1. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so this is on the J1, so it might look different or sound different. Um, when I was setting up this camera, uh, I just remembered how much better it is that we upgraded, because it's so much easier. Uh, the J1 doesn't have a flip screen. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear that outside. They're doing construction, um, so the saw keeps on going. Um, so the Nikon J1 doesn't have a flip screen, so you have to like set up the shot and then come record for a bit and then go and check if it works. Um, and the Rebel T5i does have a flip screen. So this is the tripod that we got. This one. Um, so it's a lot more heavy duty. Even when I was putting the J1 on that tripod that it's on right now, um, it just seems so much more flimsy. Um, so we went with something a bit more heavy duty just because it's a more expensive camera and we don't want it to blow over in the wind again. It is a little bit bigger and harder to carry around, but what can you do? So it does get pretty small. Next item, I just showed you this little bad boy. And then the camera that we went with, this is the setup we got. Um, so it came with the 18 by 55, so that's just a kit lens, so that just means like how much it zooms in, doesn't zoom in. And then we went with the Rhodes Go mic. I don't really know too much about cameras, but this is what we got. Um, and then, so that's a flip screen, so it's a lot easier to see kind of what you're looking at. You can kind of see what you're looking at, um, and then when it's in selfie mode, um, it's a lot easier to see if you're actually in the frame and in focus. Um, it's a little bit bigger to carry around, but we don't really mind or we haven't found a problem with it. So this is it with the selfie stick on, um, or a little tripod, whatever you want to say. It's not really a selfie stick. because it... So you can just kind of hold it like this, and it's a lot easier to talk to. So I'm gonna just flip back to this camera because I have one more thing to show you. Okay, so like I was saying with the flip out camera, um, I'll actually just show you what the whole setup kind of looks like. So that's the uh, setup there. You can see yourself uh, when you're talking to it, the tripod. Um, a lot easier to kind of manage. I don't really want to spend too much time uh, dealing with like camera angles and stuff. Um, I just want it to be something convenient. Uh, like I said, um, we had one more purchase. It's the last one. Um, so the last purchase we had was a new lens. So the lens that came with it, it's just a very like basic, they call it a kit lens, I guess. Um, so it's an 18 by 55 millimeter. Some of you won't know what that means. I don't really know what that means. All I know is that the bigger numbers zoom in more, smaller numbers don't. So this is like fully zoomed out. Um, this is zoomed in. So yeah, this is zoomed out. Um, you can kind of see the edge of the couch here. Uh, and then a little bit of the blanket. Uh, so we just went and got a different lens, so it's a wide angle lens, so you can probably guess what that means, wider angles. Uh, so this is the 10 by 18 millimeter camera lens uh, by Canon. Uh, it still has autofocus and stabilization on it. So I am gonna hook up this new lens to the camera so you can see how much better it's gonna be in the future, okay? So we'll switch over in five, four, three, two, one, switch. Okay, so we switched and this is it fully zoomed in. So you can kind of see the edge of the couch and the same amount, might be a little bit different. And then this is it zoomed out fully. Look at that. 
I can't even reach my arms. See, now it looks like I'm a little bit too far away. So, we'll just bring it in a little bit. So, you can kind of see a lot more of the space. And in practice, that just means you can see more of the practice. Um, so, we're super happy with it. Um, and then when we're walking around, not in public, just like at the track, um, and we put it on the uh, selfie stick. We don't have to hold it away so far now. You just kind of hold it a little bit closer. It's a little bit more comfortable. So great, great purchase. Uh, so this is again on the 10 by 18 millimeter wide angle Canon lens. Super happy with the purchases, but now we're done. Can't do any more purchases. Can't do it. Can't afford it. Don't wanna purchase anything else so we're all set up so this is the camera that you're gonna see from now on if there's any changes I'll let you know there won't be thanks for tuning in thanks for watching the video uh, if you have any questions comment below me and Carol are in our off season now so we're gonna be doing different stuff maybe if uh, Damien and Jen come back play a little beach volleyball um, so yeah won't be any practices in the near future, but there's gonna be other stuff. Carol wants to go on a half marathon. She ran a 10K last year, 11K. She likes to say that 11 kilometers last year. Uh, so now she wants to do a half marathon in her off season. Uh, not like officially in a race, but just kind of by herself. Uh, so I actually have to bike beside her and I don't know if my butt can make it that far. Maybe post some pictures and stuff on Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, it will be at the end. Uh, it's down in the uh, description below. So go follow us on uh, Instagram. But yeah, now we're home um, and yeah, just uh, working through everything and thanks for the support um, and thanks for uh, tuning in. So I will see you next time. Bah. Sorry, wait, don't go. Um, last but not least, uh, so actually this is the camera on the tripod. So it's a lot easier to hold. You can see a lot of stuff around me. Last thing that has changed is that I've actually started using um, Final Cut Pro in my editing. Um, so that's changed as well. So if the video looks kind of different, um, this is why. Um, I was just using iMovie before. It's kind of basic with what it can do. Um, so I just wanted to try something different. So Final Cut Pro, I have no clue what a lot of this stuff means. And so working through it, uh, this is the last vlog that I'm going through. Hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you guys watched it. If you didn't, click right here to watch it. So we're moving on up in the vlog world, hopefully. You guys just need to subscribe and like it. Okay, now bye for sure, bye.